um, definitely 190 mm will be the lesser value uh, among uh, the 3D and uh, 300 mm which are the spacing values we have to um, consider the least value as earlier so 190 mm will be the definitely least value therefore provide 8 mm diabars at the rate of 190 mm center to center in the middle strip of width 3.12 meter okay so next step is reinforcement in H strip so we know uh, we have calculated earlier that AST minimum area of steel minimum is equals to 216 mm square now using 8 mm dia bars the spacing will be 1000 into 50.3 by 216 that is equals to 232 mm now uh, for spacing spacing will be list of the following 5d 450 mm and 232 mm which is calculated so spacing spacing should be 232 mm or uh, we can use uh, 230 mm okay so in each strip uh, we are calculated just like uh, distribution bar of one way slab a strip minimum is in, uh, enough reinforcement for each strip okay so we took um, area of steel as a strip minimum and uh, spacing consideration is also is like distribution slab uh, distribution bar of one way slab that's why uh, the spacing um, uh, amount will be list of these followings hmm. slightly different than the main reinforcement okay so now using 8 mm dia bars at the rate of 230 mm center to center in the h strip of width half into 5.16 minus 3.9 that is equals to 1.04 meter along x direction and h strip of width half into 4.16 minus 3.12 that is equals to 0 0.52 meter along y direction uh, in this case uh, we use half because from the full effective span if we deduct middle strip we will get uh, total length of h strip from both sides but here we have to uh, for reinforcement providing reinforce, uh, reinforcement and design we have to know the one side of h strip that's why uh, we have just uh, multiply the half value with this to get one uh, direction only only uh, h, uh, h strip one h strip okay now next step is uh, check for shear is a in common format uh, nominal shear stress tau v is equals to vu by bd uh, shear we have calculated earlier uh, so vu is uh, 36770 uh, by 1000 into 153 that is equal to 0 0.24 newton per mm square percentage of steel ast by bd into 100 we know this formula so A is 335 by B is 1000 and D is 161 into 100 that is equals to 0 0.21 percent now for percentage of steel 0 0.21 percent 0 0.21 percent and M20 grade concrete we have to find out uh, the value of tau C from table number 19 of IS 456 2000 so let's check the um, check uh, table number 19 so uh, table number 19 design shear strength of concrete tau c in unit is newton per mm square so uh, now uh, in left column 100 ast by bg so percentage of steel 0.21 is not in the list but 0.21 is lies between 0.15 and 0.25 now for m20 grade of concrete percentage of steel if 0 0.15 then the tau c value is 0.28 and for 0.25 the value is 0.36 that means for 0 
is definitely lies between this 0.28 and 0.36 we have to interpolate that so now we have to interpolate now tau c is equal to 0 0.28 plus 0 0.36 minus 0 0.28 over 0 0.25 minus 0 0.15 multiply it by within bracket 0 0.21 minus 0 0.15 the value will be 0 0.33 so the tau c value is 0 0.33 now uh, for 180 mm thickness of slab value of k coefficient is 1.24 which you can find out from clause number 40.2.1.1 of IS 456-2000 page number 72 oh, I have already showed in last video for one way slab that page uh, clause number is written here you can easily find out there so uh, so k value is 1.24 so uh, k tau c is equal to 0 0.33 into 1.24 that is equal to 0 0.41 which is greater than tau v that means no shear reinforcement is required because there are no excess excess shear okay now next step is check for deflection so for this first of all we have to find out modification factor from IS 456 2000 figure 4 that modification factor will be multiplied with length to depth ratio right so percentage of steel is 0 0.21 we know now fs this formula is given just below figure 4 of IS 456 2000 0 0.58 into fy ast required by ast provided that is equal to 0 0.58 into fy is 415 within bracket ast required is 333 by provided is 349 that is equal to 240 newton per mm square so we have to find out modification factor for percentage of steel 0 0.21 and fs 240 mpa so let's check figure 4 of IS 456-2000 so this is figure 4 of IS 456-2000 FS is 240 and uh, percentage of steel is 0.21 so um, from this two we may find out the approximate value of modification factor so modification factor is uh, almost 1.6 for simply supported beam LYD max is equals to 20 into modification factor 1.6 that is equals to 32 and length to depth ratio provided lyg provided is equals to 4161 by 161 that is equals to 26 so uh, this value is lesser than the maximum value hence it is okay so next step is torsional reinforcement at corners in case of two-way slab in every corner torsional reinforcement or corner reinforcement have to provide to resist torsional moment which comes in two-way slab so as per IS code consideration mesh size is LX by 5 that is equals to 4.16 by 5 that is equals to 0 0.832 meter which is equivalent to 840 mm now area of torsion reinforcement is 3 quarter that means 3 by 4 of 332.5 that is equals to 250 mm square now using 8 mm dia bars dia of 1 bar we know 50.3 so spacing is 50.3 by 250 into 1000 that is equals to 201 mm or you can say 200 mm so provide 8 mm mesh of bars at 200 mm center to center in a mesh now, design part and reinforcement part is complete now time to arrange reinforcement okay, before the join so uh, before starting this the arrangement consideration just 
check out once the IS code provision about this arrangement. Now look, um, as per IS code provision, annex D of IS 456-2000, uh, clause number D 1.4, tension reinforcement provided at mid span in the middle strip shall exceed in the lower part of the slab to within uh, 0.25 L of a continuous edge or 0.15 L of a discontinuous edge. So, so depend upon this edge condition. Now, as per code provision, the reinforcement arrangement. First on the bending half of the main bars at a distance 0.15 LX that is equal to 0.65 meter from the center of support or 650 minus 150 that is 500 mm from edge of support along x direction available length of bars at top 650 minus 130 that is equals to 520 mm from center of support now next part is bending half the main bars at a distance 0.15 ly that is uh, 775 mm from center of support or 775 minus 150 that is 625 mm from its um, age of uh, support along y direction available length of bars at top 775 minus 130 that is equals to 645 mm from center of support so uh, regarding this uh, reinforcement arrangement we have to draw the figures so uh, this is a longitudinal section of uh, short span so you may see here the drawing from drawing you can understand uh, the overall length uh, the effective length everything and the um, distance of bent up bar okay everything is written in drawing uh, now next drawing is along long span the span length uh, change as per our question and as per our calculation so these are the length and um, distance of bent up bar um, lower portion and upper portion okay. so this is the drawing next part is plan of bottom reinforcement okay. So here everything is given middle strip, edge strip and corner reinforcement. So this is the main plan of bottom reinforcement which we have mainly designed. Which you have get through the design. As per the design this drawing has been done. You can see here the mesh size, edge strip size, number of uh, um, dial of bar at given support so this is uh, another view which is of top reinforcement here each strip and mesh are given but uh, middle strip is not given and this is the main drawing Here the problem is end. Thank you.